covered his body late yesterday afternoon with the help of a technical diving team. So 30-year-old Joshua Rosen from Tucson, he was diving with two other people on Saturday. And that's when he went under the water and then never resurfaced. He was doing a technical dive on the old Waddell Dam and his body was recovered in water that was about 200 feet deep. The old Waddell Dam is a popular dive spot at the lake, but it's maybe one of the most dangerous dives in Arizona. The old Waddell Dam was built back in 1928. It created Lake Pleasant. At the time, it was the biggest multiple arch dam in the world. But over the decades, Arizona grew and more water storage was needed. The new Waddell Dam was built in 1993, just south of the old dam, tripling the size of Lake Pleasant. The old dam was then demolished. Our helicopter was there to capture the scene that day. The lake filled up with water. And today, because the lake is so much bigger, parts of the old dam are as deep as 280 feet below the surface, well beyond the reach of recreational divers. Seven years ago, I dove the more shallow areas of the dam with a group of experienced divers. Much of the structure is still visible. It was an interesting experience, diving to see a piece of Arizona history. But the problem is, if something goes wrong down here, it goes very wrong. Because of the depth and the debris, a diver's chance of being rescued or even recovered can be slim. So joining us this morning is dive instructor Dan Shepard. You've made that dive many times. Dan, yeah. thanks for being Good here. Morning, we dove Dan. together. Yes, yeah, pleasure that, to be uh, here. Video we got here. Why is that hmm. such a dangerous dive? What's the problem at the old Waddell Dam? Well, the the main problems with the old Waddell Dam is the arch side of the dam, the uh, which would be the downstream side between the earthen dam that's there now. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you're diving along the top of it and you drop around on the wrong side of the dam, you can easily go into one of the arches of the dam. Uh, there's a lot of uh, wire, uh, number nine wire. It's about as thick as a pencil sticking out of the dam. Mm -hmm. uh, it can get into your gear, tear holes in it. Uh, it can ca uh, cause injury to you. There's entanglement issues with rebar. I mean, uh, huge chunks of concrete and things are down there, right? It's down. massive debris. Big as cars with m big chunks of rebar sticking out of it. Uh, the whole top of the dam was cut out about 70 feet down, 230 feet wide. So this is all laying down there in the bottom, all this debris, along with trees and everything else that mm -hmm. was in the water whenever they flooded the opposite side of the dam. Is it a popular place to dive and uh, you know, do a lot of people head out there or is it more of like a challenge for some divers? It's a challenging dive. Um, divers shouldn't dive on the dam unless they are technical dive trained. Recreational divers go out there occasionally but they don't have the experience. If they end up in one of those arches, they don't have the training for that. They're in an overhead environment. It's easy to bump your head. Uh, recreational divers shouldn't be in there. Mm -hmm. If they stay north of the dam in the shallower water, less than 100 feet, that's not too bad. But if they venture over to the other side, there are a lot of dangers over there, a lot of hazards. You have to know what you're doing. And in fact, uh, there was a man, I want to say close to 10 years ago now, yes. who was down there, uh, who dropped down out of the side of the rest of his uh, friends, divers. They've never recovered him. He's still down there because it's so deep it's, and difficult to find anything in that debris. Yeah, that's correct. I've actually looked for him myself and I still have not found him. That water in the winter time, I've been as deep as 270 feet in that wow. lake. And it takes specialized dive gear to do that. It's decompression diving. 30 minutes on the bottom can be an hour of decompression on the way up. So you've got to stop and basically let your blood, let the, what is it, the nitrogen? Let the nitrogen come out of your bloodstream, exactly. right, on the way back up. Okay, let me ask you this because we're almost out of time. If somebody wants to see something neat, you know, maybe not this dam, but something mm -hmm. else, are there, are there safer places for you to dive in our lakes here in Arizona? There are much safer places to dive in uh, the lake in Arizona. Uh, if you go to, even at Lake Pleasant, there's an, uh, an area called, uh, we call it Tech Island. It's out in the middle of the lake. Uh, you can, there's dive boats out, still out there. They'll take you out there and you can dive along the cliff line, which is, a, which is really fun. You uh -huh. see a lot of fish. The, it's like a, uh, a reef system in oh, the ocean with all the little tiny fish and the big fish trying to get them. And <laughs> Dan, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate You're very it. welcome. You, Happy Dan. to be here. Thank yeah. you for all you Appreciate do, it. too. Thank you. Thank you. Teaching 